What's up, chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be um, talking about my November favorites. We're already in December, and it's crazy. It's the last month of year 2016, and I tell you something. I am so ready for this year to be over. But I'm so ready for 2017, you guys. I have so many projects in the works. Um, projects that it's gonna be for me to step out my comfort zone and for me to actually get closer to my dreams and stop being a scary cat and stop being shy and stop being my own worst enemies so this video we are going to be covering um, the products that I have been obsessing over for a couple of months now um, I've been trying these products over a period of time to be able to get a good feel of them to be able to say yeah they really work they're really amazing they're really awesome and I want to share them with you guys so you guys know how the monthly favorites go and if you guys want to see um, there's a lot of hair care and there's a lot of skin care because I've been obsessed with taking care of my skin and taking care of my hair so if you guys want to see what products I have to say thumbs up to them and I highly recommend all you have to do is grab a snack and come join me all right so let's start with hair you guys know me the usual I like to start from the head to the, to the, to the, to the, to the floor <laughs> um so let's start with hair I recently um I actually was reached out to and I like to say if they send it to me I'm gonna tell you hey I got it was sent over to me and I loved it I recently um, got sent these over by finesse um, the introduction was pretty cool supposedly it says this one of its Kylie Jenner's um, I'm sorry it's Kendall Jenner's favorite line for shampoo and conditioner and I'm like she would use finesse whatever anyways let's go ahead and give them a try and I'm going to tell you something Right off my second use of this shampoos and conditioner, I was in shock. I'm not lying, honestly. For hair that's healthier, stronger, more alive, it's Restore and Strengthen Moisturizing Shampoo. Moisturizes for softness and manageability. Hopefully I said that right. And now with active proteins. Like, oh my god, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. My hair is very thick, very damaged, very color processed processed hair very thick hair and um, when I wash my hair it's usually very frizzy and after I used this on the second use I saw a huge difference my hair was a lot softer a lot more like straight I would say and a lot more manageable usually it takes me about an hour hour 15 to straight iron my hair when I was straight iron my hair with after I shampooed and conditioner it literally no lie took me anywhere from 30 to 35 minutes because it was so easy in the manage it would it was already kind of straight and I was like oh my god so it actually was kind of taking it back to the, the roots of my hair my hair used to be straight before I made a mess out of it so if you have dry damaged dull hair I highly recommend it because it gives you it gives you shine as well so I highly highly recommend these um shampoos and conditioner I then the other thing I've been using for my hair and to style my hair believe it or not has been the John Frieda Freezies um, new products that just recently launched about a couple of months ago and I got sent over a box of the John Frieda Freezies all the new products that came out and I gave a try to the ones that were gonna work for my hair and I have to say I am in love um, I couldn't find it I was I re-recorded this video because I didn't like how it looked so um, I'm missing one product that I'm going to talk to you guys about but the first one that I want to say is um, it's gonna be the one that I'm missing is <laughs> the live-in conditioner now I my hair is very oily so I try not to mix it a lot but when I apply the keratin treatment I made sure that I did not apply the live leave-in conditioner by John Frieda because I didn't want to weigh down my hair so much so the next one that I've been obsessed with is the straight fixation and I did apply this a little bit on my hair when I straighten my hair. This is pretty much smoothest and moisturizes for 24 hour silky sick for a 24 hour silky style. So it helps you uh, manage your hair if, again if your hair is frizzy and you get flyaways. I get flyaways all the time and I hate it. If you don't know what flyaways are is when you have like the little hair sticking up I hate them so this thing right here helps you strain your hair and it helps you keep your style in for 24 hours 
Um, if you just want to leave it straight, it's going to leave it for a while until you wash it. So it's pretty, pretty good and I love the smell. The other thing is the Curl Reviver Mousse Salon Quality Control and Hold for Natural Looking Curls. Why? You, you don't have curly hair. But I apply this all over my hair and crunch it up when I'm about to style it. And you would say, oh my god, you add mousse to style? Because the fact that my hair is so dry and dull, I need help boost the curls when I'm trying to do the messy curl. So I apply just a little bit all over my hair and it just amazingly makes the curls stay and I love it. I can go to sleep and my curls stay intact because of the mousse. And it is the mousse because I have before I didn't use it and I would wake up the next morning and my hair was flat again. I'm like, Ugh, really? I spent like an hour and a half trying to curl my hair and you want to come back and be all flat again? Uh-uh, no honey, no uh, -uh. No boo boo, I ain't having it. So the last, th the last thing is this. This is truly a freaking secret weapon. This is called the Touch Up Cream and it seals hair to eliminate freeze and flyaways. Oh my God. I can put this on my hair right now. Like my hair has fly, freezy hair going on and it smooths it and just not only that, it smells, smells so good. I love having things in the hair that smells like clean hair. So this is really good when you style it. You can even have it curled. You can even have it straight. You can even have it whatever you have in your hair. You apply a little bit to your um, palms of your hands. You mix it together and then you run it through your hair and it's not going to weigh down your hair. It's not going to take away your curls. It's not going to make it oily, but it's going to help set everything and all the flowers and all the freeze is going to be begone. I... Ah, you saw that. I caught it. I absolutely love, love this baby right here. So now moving for skincare, and I first off have to say that I have very dry, very dry sensitive skin. That is pretty much what my skin consists of, and I get a lot of redness on my cheek area, and I tend to break out easily when I'm applying new products and I'm trying new products. But I am sticking to these two lines that have been amazingly good to my skin. One of them is Derma E, and the other one is H2O Plus Beauty. So for Derma E, I cannot stress that enough. I love the purifying 2-in-1 charcoal mask. I was breaking out really bad in this area right here not so long ago. Um, I did try a new moisturizing. I don't know why the hell I did that. But I did try a new moisturizer and it broke out on the one side of the face only because I didn't use it on the other one. And I was like, ah! Two applies of this thing. And of course I applied something, other, other things on there to dry them out. And they were gone. When my face starts acting up, like I see it on my foundation and I see how it's starting to crease on me or crack or I don't know, it's starting, my face is starting to act up, I go a hammer on this baby the night before and my application the next morning on makeup is flawless. I absolutely love this charcoal mask and I'm sticking to this one and I'm not buying any other charcoal mask besides the Derma E. For Derma E also, I have been obsessed over their hydrating serum. This is, of course, everybody uses serum if you use serum on your skincare. I recommend if you have dry skin a hydrating serum and honestly this hydrating serum from um, Dermaee has become my best friend. I absolutely love it. Then the next thing is my night cream and this is from Dermaee as well and this is a hydrating night cream and literally you wake up the next morning with Bubba Boom glowing hydrating skin. Like Dermaee goes to town on hydration. I love it. Love this cream. <laughs> and the last thing is the Furman DMAEI Lifting Cream. And this is super a bomb. It helps with the crow's feet, crow, crow's feet and helps with the fine lines. And I just think it's really, really good. I mean, if everything else has worked for me from Dermae, this is, this is really good also. And from H2O Beauty, I have to say that my moisturizer is bomb. I love it. And it's a it's water bright. It's a radiating moisturizer and it has SPF 30. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. Okay, so that's it for skincare. Now we're going to go ahead and jump in some makeup. And I don't have a lot of makeup, so go ahead and move on. Oh, wait. The last thing for skincare is this thing from... Illuminage, so hopefully I'm saying it right. This is a skin rejuvenating eye mask. It pretty much helps you while you're sleeping. It's like if you wear a face mask, why don't wait? Why don't you wear something that is going to help you look your skin, make your skin look a lot better? And it does say that it makes your skin look better 
um, clinically proven to change the look of your skin in just four weeks. So why not mask it away and sleep and make, sh make sure that your skin is looking amazingly. Not only did I get this, I also have the pillowcase for my pillow and I use that as well. Anything that's gonna help my skin look healthier, younger and beautiful, I'm going to try. And a pillowcase, it has, um, I think it has iron, right? It has copper, I'm sorry, with copper oxide technology. So they have copper and of course whatever the copper has, it helps your skin. So I love this thing right here and I use it to sleep. This is pretty cool. If you sleep with mask, I highly recommend it. I mean, you're making your skin look a lot more healthier while you're sleeping. Hey do. All right, so the next thing to makeup is these, um, this is my first Charlotte Tilbury product. Ah! So I'm so happy. And this is the Wonder Glow. It's a, um, this is a instant self-focused beauty, f um, flash. You can use it under the makeup, over the makeup, with your foundation alone. You can use it whatever. It has a sheer tint, so it's pretty, um, it's pretty cool. What it does it's turn around tired dull skin in a beauty flash with with my big breakthrough hybrid anti-age elixir powered by fluorescent core that converts in light into skin illumicity for an instant soft focus spotlight effect so your skin is gonna look so so ready for the camera and it's gonna look really good it's like a bb cream you know bb cream kind of covers but this is kind of give you, it's gonna give you a soft focus, illuminating screen. Okay, so moving on to eyes, I have been obsessed, and these have been my two favorite palettes for the past months the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and the Solo Look Flash Dance Matte palette. This has been my holy girl um, eyeshadow palette right now. It has beautiful, warm toned colors, and they're all mattes, and I absolutely love them. They're super pigmented and they're super blendable, and I love it. The other thing is the highlight. Jar Cosmetic doesn't seem doesn't cease to impress me, and I went back to an oldie but goodie, and this is the um, Jar Cosmetic Star Pow Powder in the color Audrey. It's a beautiful. Um, I think it's the best color for highlighter. Like honestly, I love love this one right here. And talking about Jar Cosmetics, their setting their setting sprays are amazing. This Lay All Day setting sprays. I love this one. I keep it with me in my vanity, and then this one I keep it with me on the go. I like to put it in my purse, and now that I'm traveling to California, this is gonna be amazing for traveling. So you can get either or. And of course, their Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks are my favorite liquid lipsticks in the market at the moment, and they came out with six new metal colors, and they are to die for. They are beautiful. And last but not least, um, tools. I have been obsessed over these brushes and I am up mate and I love them. My makeup application on my eyes have been amazing because of these things. These two right here are like right now my holy girl for blending. These are the Luxie Beauty Blending brushes. They came in my boxy charm for October. And this one is the, one of them is the 229 tap tapered blending brush and the other one is the 205 tapered blending brush one is me this is medium and then the large medium and then we have the small but she decided to um i don't know take a trip of her own but these blending brushes are amazing amazing and then these two brushes right here are amazing as well this is the strobing fan by sigma Ugh. I used to apply highlighter with anything, but honestly, if you apply highlighter with a strobing fan brush, you will see a huge difference. No lie. And then this one right here, I like to for um, the translucent powder or whatever. Right now, I'm using it for a, apply a little bit of the contour just to make sure that I get that harsh line. And this one is the Concealer Blend Kabuki Brush. So you're supposed to use it for concealer, but well, I don't use it for that. So. That's it. Oh, and the last thing I have been loving is the Revlon Color State Liquid Eye Pen. It's a ballpoint. Has been the easiest thing for me to get my cat eye. The ballpoint. Look how thick it is. But you can manage it to make a thin line or a thick line. And I highly recommend if you're starting out on wing line. This right here. So that is all that I have um, for you guys. But if you stay till the end, I have an 
I have a small giveaway I want to say. I want to give away a couple of the products that I mentioned here for you guys to try. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the instructions on how to enter the giveaway of my favorites on the bottom bar. It's very easy. The you All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. You got to like my face on my face. You got to like my page on Facebook. Find the picture on Facebook with the giveaway and give it a share. And then you have to come back into the into the comment section down here and say done. That is all that you're going to do. But if you guys want to see what I'll be giving away and all the rules and, and, and everything else and what how to enter, description box down below. So um, we're in December. So happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you for sticking till the end. Besotes. Be blessed, precious pearls. I'll see you ladies on my next video. Bye.